So one of the things that I thought I was going to go to college and do was become a biologist. I was going to go and take classes and work in a lab and save people's lives, maybe even find the cure for cancer. But one of the things that surprised me the most when I got to college is not how much I learned about biology, but how much I learned about myself. Most of what I learned in college was about me. It was me exploring who I was and who I needed to become. It was about me really pushing my limits. So an example story that I have for that is I was taking all of these classes. I had, I think, 24 credit hours. And for most people, you once you get to college, you realize that that is a lot of credit hours and a lot of work. On top of that, since I was a science major, most of my classes had a second class associated with it, which is a laboratory class. So I had just tons and tons of work to do. And I was overwhelmed, but I thought, you know what? I accepted this challenge. I'm going to take this challenge. And I did. That semester, I did okay. I did w relatively well grade-wise, but I wasn't happy, and I was so exhausted by the end of it. So something that I decided to do is say to myself, okay, LaToya, maybe you should pursue something else. Maybe not change your major, but maybe you should pursue other things that you like. I love public speaking. I love being involved in the community. And so I thought, well, why not incorporate this into my degree process? So I decided to start becoming more involved on campus. I ran for a political office on campus. I was able to raise $75,000 by myself in three months. And I did all of this while still pursuing my degree. Now, as far as my course load, I did not take 24 credit hours again. I took 21, but <laughs> 21 or 19. But what I realized was at the end of that semester, I felt like I was kind of, um, spreading myself very thin over my coursework and over the activities that I committed myself to. But I looked at my transcripts and at my grades at the end of that semester, and I realized that that was the first semester that I made the dean's list. And I thought to myself, how in the world could that happen where I'm doing my major classes and I'm doing sort of fun things that I like around campus, meeting new people, even going to parties sometimes, because, well, that's what you do sometimes in college. You, you work hard and you also play hard. And I realized that I had learned one of the most valuable things about myself that I think I could ever learn in college, even more valuable than my degree at times. And that is, I like to be involved in a lot of things, but I found my balance. So for me, my balance was not just pursuing the degree all by itself. It was pursuing all parts of myself. So the creative parts of myself. I joined a dance team. The political parts of myself. I was, like I mentioned, involved in a political office on campus. And also fundraising. I accomplished something that I never, ever thought that I would be able to do. So my message to women is find your balance. My message to girls is to find your balance. Sometimes it's hard and sometimes it takes time. Sometimes Sometimes you mess up a little bit and sometimes you're really successful. It's okay. That's all part of life. But find whatever your balance is because where your balance is may also be the place that your success lies.